Welcome, we are all set for the second game of Leeds United's pre-season tour of Australia and after Blackpool and then Brisbane comes a significant step up in terms of the quality of the opposition one would imagine. The Aston Villa side up first, very familiar look to it, they've made three pre-season signings but only Bubakar Kamara is in the starting eleven for Aston Villa for Leeds United. Well there are new names in there, you can see Aronson, Rocker and Christensen all starting the game for Leeds and Tyler Adams in midfield as well so um, it will be an opportunity for Jesse Marsh to see how some of those new signings fit in alongside other players there's a good ball into Harrison lovely ball into his path Cuts the ball back then to Aronson, edge of the penalty area. Now Dan James in the D, tries to curl it, gets a second opportunity and Olsen at full stretch, two hands, pushes the ball behind and Leeds create the best moment of the game and Dan James almost on target once more. Yes, great initial, well, second strike from Dan James. The first one gets blocked, as you see here. Actually strikes Patrick Bamford in the back. Good technique to get it on target. First real chance of the game from both sides. Ball over the top, that's a fine ball to pick out Dina in space. Into the penalty area to Coutinho, and that's a penalty kick. It's handball against Tyler Adams. And Tyler Adams looks quizzical, but you could see as he ran in towards the ball that there was the potential for a problem there. And uh, Villa have a penalty. My first reaction is very harsh. When the players are this close to each other, you can see yeah, his hands are. It looks Slightly like he's hit his it. chest, doesn't it? Exactly. The referee was very quick to just say it was a penalty. Oh, it's not hit his arm, has it? That's surely not hit the arm. Um, well, Leeds are furious <laughs> about the yeah. order of, the, of that penalty. And Coutinho's shot is saved, but the follow-up... Oh, brilliant second wow. save as well from Melier. What a double save that is. Fantastic stuff from the French goalkeeper. And a clench fist salute to celebrate as well. And why not? What a brilliant double save. You're expecting the second effort to be just slotted in by Coutinho, but he got a block in on that as well. Fantastic goalkeeping. Good interplay, brings Tyler Adams up to the edge and into the penalty area. Harrison into the box, James rather into the box. It's cleared away and miscontrolled by Koch. Now Leeds are in trouble, it's 2v1. Got to get back in here. And the ball played through to Ollie Watkins and Melier makes another fantastic stave. Melier once more keeps the ball at the back of the net and it's high fives all round and so it should be. You can see the big leads following there in the crowd. They're loving what they're seeing from Melier because he was getting it ever so wrong from a defensive point of view. Wasn't offside. But again, stays so big. Strong hand. Gets it over the bar. Bamford has played in the penalty area, another good save from Olsen, Dan James, oh he's put that one wide, he was in a great position there, James just couldn't work the ball on target, but Leeds suddenly opened the Villa defence up, and another Olsen block, and then a Dan James miss. Just the technique from Dan James, he tried to cut across the ball, and people who've played the game will know how difficult that technique is, get it slightly wrong, just miscue the effort, and that's all he's done there. Ings has got in behind them here. And Danny Ings shot, it's the side netting. Just managed to get the wrong side of the defender. Strong suspicion of offside, surely, about that, isn't there? I think it's more than strong there, Bruno. <laughs> Aronson and Aronson over the ball. Aronson takes it onto the head of Strauch. 
need to pick up with Rocker. Delivers it straight back in. And Olsen reacts really quickly. And Dan James knows that he had an excellent opportunity to give Leeds the lead there. Yeah, we did well to just recycle the ball on this left-hand side. First time cross, Rocker and you're right, Dan James finds himself in a great position at the near post. Reaction save from Olsen. It's a good moment for Leeds. Aston Villa free kick again out to the far side of the penalty area. Still alive for Ings. Oh, now that does. Well, I thought that hit a hand there, and the referee agrees with me, and he's given a penalty kick, and it's another handball against the Leeds United player. This one, I think, is a little easier to give. Leif Davis, um, hands went to the face, but I think I think he's hit the hand quite clearly, hasn't it, here? Yeah. Yeah, again, it has hit the hand this time. Unlike the first one, that did get given as well, but very close. Again, the referee really quick to award the penalty kick. Melier has to do it all again then for Leeds. Um, I'm sure he thought that... Um, that job had been wrapped up in the first half when he stopped both efforts from Coutinho, but now it's Ings up against Melier to give Aston Villa the lead. And this time, Danny Ings makes no mistake and rolls the ball to the opposite corner. And Melier can do nothing to stop that, and Aston Villa take the lead here in Brisbane. And Leeds United are disappointed at the conceding of another penalty kick. Again, we've seen the replay. The strikers are, but for me, very close together. The players, it's not intentional at all. But this time, Melier could have repeat his heroic from the first half. Goes the wrong way this time. There's quite a bit going on out there, isn't there, between these two teams? He has no lost even in pre-season games against Aston Villa. And again, there you see Gray. He's been caught this time. And again. There's that part of your body where it's not protected. And that is sore, is that? It's a poor challenge from McGinn. minutes remaining Klich gets the ball into Sinistera to Helder lovely cross in, fantastic cross in Some scrambles to get it away Leeds getting within a whisker of another goal there from uh, an unconventional source perhaps yes yeah, it's one of those where you can catch the goalkeeper out from a cross Leeds, as they try to work through it, hear the final whistle sound. And the pre-season programme has brought a first defeat for Leeds United. Danny Ings, the scorer from the penalty spot. So Steven Gerrard's side come out on top against Jesse Marsh's team. Leeds United had good opportunities. Saw Robin Olsen make good saves, but at the other end, a memorable double stop from a penalty by Melier in the first half and another fine save after that from Ollie Watkins and Leeds United will feel that maybe they could have got something from the game particularly given that there were two harsh penalties it appeared given against them but ultimately the news that's most concerning is the news surrounding Archie Gray who was stretched off in the second half following a challenge from McGinn so some things that the manager no doubt will be happy about and others that he probably won't full-time scoreline it's finished at the Suncorp Stadium here in Brisbane Leeds United nil Aston Villa 1